I love kale. It is a super nutritious and super delicious addition to whatever you're cooking, but maybe you're just tired of kale salad. Well, how about this? It's my baked kale falafel sandwiches or salad. A traditional falafel is a beautiful mixture of chickpeas and other ingredients, and you usually deep fry it. That's a lot of oil, a lot of grease, a lot of fat. Not really great. We're gonna bake it in the oven instead. But we gotta get our kale ready. For this recipe, we're gonna need one small bunch of kale. So that's about five ribs. What I like to do is massage the kale. It's very, very dense, and the way that I do this is that I cut it down into smaller pieces. And then it just needs a little bit of salt. And then, and you don't wanna be gentle with this. You really just wanna get in there. It's gonna look more vibrant. It's already breaking down, almost as if it's like spinach. And then transfer our massaged and chopped kale to a large mixing bowl. Get one red onion, chop this up. So in a medium pan, I'm gonna add a good flavorful fat. This is a toasted sesame oil. So we're gonna do just about two tablespoons. Put in that whole red onion right into here. This is gonna cook for a few minutes. And then a little bit of salt. This is gonna help draw out some excess moisture. And while this is cooking, we're gonna add some dry spices. One and a half teaspoons of ground cumin. We need two teaspoons of dried dill. And then garlic powder, you need one teaspoon. And we'll give this a stir for about 30 seconds. You don't wanna burn the spices, but you do want it to cook through. Okay, so into our bowl, we're gonna put on top of the kale this beautiful onion mixture. We got our can of chickpeas. This recipe uses one can. We're gonna zest one lemon. You need about a teaspoon. And the juice of one lemon goes into the bowl. And now we have to mash it all together. If you find that your mixture is a little bit dry, you can add just a little bit of water. This is sort of the consistency that you want. I've got a quarter cup of breadcrumbs. This will help bind it together. And I'm just gonna give it a nice little gentle toss. And then it's time to make our falafel. We're gonna use an ice cream scooper. And I just go in and pack it in. You want these to be really dense. And then right onto a parchment lined baking sheet. And then I like to put a little extra sesame oil right on top. It's just a little drop. What this does, it gives it a crunch. You give them a little tap just to flatten them out into a 350 degree oven. We're gonna bake these up for about 15 minutes. While these are getting nice and crispy, I'm gonna show you a really simple and easy recipe to make a beautiful dressing to go with this. And this is a fresh garlic clove that we're gonna mince. And then what I really, really love to do, take a little sprinkle of salt right on top. And we're gonna just rub it all the way down, making a paste. We need a little bit of lemon juice, about two tablespoons. And now we're gonna do a sesame paste. This is tahini. Looks like peanut butter. It's not peanut butter. This is actually ground up sesame seeds. So we're gonna do a quarter cup of our tahini. A little bit of sweetener. So about one and a half teaspoons of maple syrup. Just a little pinch of salt. A tiny bit of water. I'm gonna do maybe about two tablespoons right from my filter. And then for heat, chili flakes. This is optional. And then you just mix it together. You wanna to make sure this emulsifies. Okay, I wanna show you two different ways of baked kale falafel. It's like a salad or sandwich form that you want. This is romaine lettuce. I'm just gonna cut off the bottoms. And then I love to tear it up. And then when you get towards the inside, this is my favorite part are the little itty bitty ones that you can just keep intact. They're fun to garnish with. So for this, I like to just slice right down the middle and dig out a little bit of the bread on the inside. And then take some of the torn up romaine lettuce, line the inside. All that's missing is our baked falafel. It's definitely been about 15 minutes, so let's check on them. Oh, they look amazing. and they are begging now to be put into a salad or a sandwich. And they are just warm enough that I can put a few right into 
our salad. We're gonna put about three right into our sandwich. All that's missing is a little bit of that beautiful tahini sauce. You just drizzle it on. You could do a little fresh cracked black pepper if you want. So I'm gonna take a big bite. Mm. It is so good. It has all the flavor you love from a falafel, but none of the grease, none of the fat. It's spicy, it's creamy, it's crunchy. If you wanna have something lighter, go for the salad version. But whatever you choose, you can't go wrong because this is the perfect thing to make for lunch or for dinner today. Mm. I want another bite. <laughs>